Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. You know, about two years ago, or almost two years ago, I posted a video on this Henry 22 rifle. Uh, this is the H001 model. But I posted a video showing it cycling shorts, longs, long rifle, and even some shot shells. And like many of my videos, I often look back and wish I would have said something different or done something a little different. In that video, I showed it cycling each of those rounds, but I never did mix them. I never mixed them, uh, mixed and matched and put them in the magazine tube in like a random order and cycled them like that. And that video went on to get quite a few views for a, a video that I've put out. And of course, what's the top comment? Why don't you mix and match them? Why don't you mix them up in the mag tube and try that? So I can't go back and fix that video, of course, but I can do that today for you. So let me show you what I've got on the table here. All right, this is what I've got on the table here. And I didn't go out and buy ammo specifically for this video. So I just, this is really random stuff that I just had in a, in a box at home. I've got all kinds of 22 ammo and I just pulled out the most random stuff I had. And we'll start from left to right. That's the order I'm gonna load these in the magazine tube. We've got 22 shorts, 22 longs, Got Remington Golden Bullet 22 shorts. Got CB 22 longs. Target 22 shorts. Got some Agula Calibri. Super Calibri. Got some Sniper Subsonic. CCI shot shells. Federal Birdshot shot shell. CCI 22 Quiet and CCI Stinger just to finish it off with. We're gonna load these in the order that I just showed you from left to right into the Henry H001 and see how it cycles. All right, so let's get loaded up. You don't have to take the, the magazine tube all the way out, but I'm going to for simplicity here. And I do like to load with the lever open I know a lot of you guys fuss at me for that, but with this rifle, I've never had a problem with it jamming up. If I ever do have that problem, I'll load with the uh, lever closed. It's just a habit I've got. It's hard to break old habits. I grew up around shotguns, and anytime you change your choke tube, you better have that action open or dab is going to smack you in the back of the head. I'm aware that the Henry owner's manual explicitly says not to do it this way, but like I say, I've never had an issue with it. So, you guys should be able to hear the difference in sound of all this different powered ammo. We've got everything from the Calibri with only a primer, doesn't even have powder in it up to a stinger so let's see if you guys can tell the difference and and see if this henry will cycle this mixed matched bunch of bunch of ammo <laughs> man that is so much fun and you can't do that with your semi-auto it's just too much of a wide range of uh, cartridge lengths and power you can't you can tune your springs to cycle shorts on some semi-autos but then you can't cycle the uh, hyper velocity stuff so that's that's one one of the big advantages of a lever action like this and another big advantage they're, they're just a lot of fun I've got it loaded up exactly in the same order we just had it. So we've got 12 rounds in there. And round number 9 and 10 are the birdshot rounds. Keep that in mind. We're going to shoot this steel plate uh, really close here, about 7 yards. It's a quarter inch thick, 8 inch steel plate. Uh, not for accuracy. I just want to show you guys, maybe you can see the power difference between some of these rounds on that steel plate. Now again, rounds 9 and 10 or 
rat shot, bird shot, whatever you want to call it. So they're probably not going to do anything to the plate. They probably won't even hit the plate. Uh, they spread out really fast out of that rifled barrel. And again, I know the owner's manual says not to shoot shot seals in the H001. I'm just feeling like an outlaw today, okay? It's just a chance I'm going to take. So let's start out here. <laughs> There's a shot shell. There's another shot shell. 22 quiet and our stinger. I don't know how well that picked up on video, but I could really tell the difference in some of those hits. Here's a look at that piece of steel. Just a quarter inch thick piece of AR-500. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. The H001 is a rifle, in my opinion, it's kind of like the Ruger 1022. Everybody should have one of these. Just a fantastic little rifle. Thank you guys for watching. That's all I've got today. This has been Buffalo, and I'll talk with you guys again soon.